It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tanker Brewery. Now I believe this brewery is from, might be Estonia. It is in Estonia, it says on the back of the can here. But check this out. This is a gumbo goes. It's a chili beer with tomato, garlic, habanero and salt. Now, I've heard of gumbo, never tried it, but I would love, I love, I love the sound of gumbo. Gumbo's um, a South American, it's got me salivated, a South American dish. It's like a staple kind of soup type, type dish in South America, which, whoa, well, the, the southern, southern half of Maine America it just sounds fantastic, you know, fantastic, like you Louisiana and all those areas, they, 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 they make gumbo. I'd love to try gumbo. In fact, I might find a recipe for gumbo. I might make it myself. Uh, this beer was sent to us from Finland. It's five IBUs, 5.5% ABV. And it says, this is the tanker world famous gumbo goes. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Now, ooh, getting more beer on my reclining chair. I've got, I got no room in the garden for, so it's got to sit in my bar. There's a look at it. It's definitely a gozer. Definitely a gozer. It's hissy and fizzy and carbonation's dissipated really quickly. Oh. Orange in colour. What I will say about Tanker is that I used to drink a lot of their beer. It was actually, I drank some of it, a lot of it. I think the brewery contacted me and sent me a lot of beer about maybe two, three years ago. Since then, they've sold out. They, they're part now of... Um, are they called Royal Dutch Brewery or United Dutch Breweries? I think they're called United Dutch Breweries. So they're the same company now that's owned, that owns a Ranji Boom. So whenever you see a Ranji Boom or that Royal Dutch Lager, um, you'll know, you'll know that it's, it, it's, it's their craft brand from United Dutch Breweries. So this is a like a, 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 a the same company that owns a Ranji Boom now Tanker. I wonder if the quality has changed. Tanker used to make some amazing beer. I wonder if this is of the same quality. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Wow. Um, smells like a. A spicy spaghetti bolognese, tomatoey and garlic like, and lots of habanero chili in there. But it's really kind of quite vinegary. Smells really weird. It smells like that, um, that chili, it smells like that chili bottle, the world's hottest chili bottle I had, um, it's like a 40% ABV thing. It smells like that, it smells like, um, it smells like warning, it smells like warning, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. <laughs> Where do you start with this? It's like jumping in salty water that's been infused with chili. Like if you've got a bath full of seawater 
and then you threw a hundred, two hundred chilies in your bath water, in your salty bath water. <laughs> um, chilies burn in the back of the throat. Jeez. Hot, spicy, tomato -y, garlic -y, salty go. So go the goes a style of beer. I need to give myself a break from this, so I'm going to tell you all about Goza for a minute, um, just so I can tactfully stop pulling this awful face. So Goza comes from a region of Germany uh, where the, ro the, the Goza River runs through it. And the Goza River is famous for its slightly salty river water. Uh, a brewery set up on the banks of the Goza River many moons ago and started brewing beer there. Um, it was a very unique style of beer. It was a slightly salty beer. Naturally. Has that face gone yet? Um, it was world renowned. People wanted to try this Goza beer. Uh, until, like anything in life, it, it started to die off in the 1980s, 1990s. Um, big decline in the in the Goza style until it was nearly forgotten about. It was nearly forgotten about until the craft beer revolution of the early 2000s, up to 2010, up to 2020, where all of a sudden Goza, massive style of beer again, massive, everybody wants to brew it. Even, even lovely, but I, why am I thinking a sto it is Estonia, isn't it? Even lovely Estonian people who want to brew a, a salty goza with chilli, habanero, garlic and tomato. Wow. Good grief. You know, um, at the moment, all the kids are buying these pickle kits. They're spending £20. It's funny what the internet does. It's like a TikTok craze. They buy these pickle kits and they're like 20 quid. You get a pack of Takis, Takis crisps, a pickle and some other stuff. And you've got to like make all this. You've got to make this stuff and then eat it. Kids are paying 20 quid for a pickle, a packet of crisps and some other bits and pieces. It just shows you how mad the internet can be, can it? And I can quite imagine... I can quite imagine this becoming like a TikTok thing where you buy a glass of this and you drink it in a minute or something. Ask me to drink this in a minute? I probably couldn't, to be honest. Um, it's one of them beers that you smell and you taste and you go, ah, and you just hold it. If you notice, I've been holding it at arm's length for this whole time. Terrible. I mean, fair play, there's lots of tomato, there's lots of garlic, there's lots of chilli, there's lots of goza style there, there's lots of salt. It's not like they're lying about the beer. You know, they're being perfectly honest. I mean, it's your choice whether you want to pick this thing up and buy it. So, f full congratulations if, if this is becoming... If they're saying this is a world famous thing, then then it's becoming a world famous thing. And it's because of the chilli and the garlic, the salty water. And the youngsters on in, on, on the internet who are, who are wanting to do these crazy challenges. Um, but for me, if I was in a craft beer bar and I ordered that, yeah, um, I'd be thinking this is going to last me the best part of an hour. And I'd probably just pour it, I'd ask him to pour it away. Um, I, I don't know how to rate such a beer because it's not like they're lying. They're doing everything that it says on the tin. It's just not very nice. It's just not very nice. So um, I'm going to have to rate it on, is it a salty, chilli, garlic, tomato, goza? 
Yes, it is. So for that reason, I'm going to have to give it a 6 out of 10 because it's doing exactly what it says on the tin. Do I want to drink the rest of it? Absolutely not. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.